geht. Dead end down there with one acre lots. Here's the little bridge. This is wide open, but it will be gated at some point down the road. And the HOA doesn't frown on uh, rentals. Here's one of the Ponderosas. This thing is gorgeous. This is your A-frame front with the big deck. This is a doctor that owns this. And uh, and he'll be, he'll be just enjoying it himself. I don't think he'll be leasing it. He got an extra big deck on this. And these units have uh, crawl spaces underneath them. The one that uh, we're looking at to buy that's already existing uh, is slab grade. Doesn't have a crawl space. But that thing's beautiful on the inside. This one is lofted, but it, it's it's uh, not a third bedroom with a third bathroom. You can get a third bathroom. It's two bedrooms down, two, bathroom, two bathrooms down, and then a loft with an optional uh, uh, bathroom up there. But he's going to use it as a, an office up there. I'm not sure. I think this is a cedar. I think that's the like what this one's called. That's actually pretty nice too, from what I've seen. That was pretty, but I like the Ponderosa view a hell of a lot better. That's another cedar, I think. This is another cedar, and they use uh, upgraded siding that's uh, on the outside. You see on some of these houses, they're uh, completely maintenance-free uh, siding. It, it does cost uh, quite a bit more, but it's a nice upgrade. Now she did not go with that. Here's the house that we'd be looking at right here. Is this house? Uh, this is the little ten. 1050 square foot house, 1050 square foot house. What's nice about this one is it's a little less square footage than what uh, the place up in Strawberry was. But uh, ideally, what's cool about it is right out here we could put a, a uh, porch and uh, like uh, patio pavers out here and make it look pretty, cover up the sewer pipes over there and maybe even cover up the condenser with something. Uh, over here they're building a couple of houses. There'll be a, a lofted home here, but I think we'd still be able to see through lot 13 here by this truck, um, even with that lofted home, because it slopes downhill here a little bit. He said we'd still be able to see Strawberry Mountain there. So that shouldn't be a problem. What's cool about it is the way that it faces. There is a road down here and a little bit of road noise, but it's really quiet, it's hard to hear it. Um, the way that it faces in the morning, you can come out here uh, on the deck and actually have your morning coffee out here on that Milk, milk Run Point uh, mountain. And look at that. And out the back, he said there's two and a half acres out here and they'll eventually be developing this, but you can see how it slopes off. If they develop this back here, unless you've got a house like literally right behind you, you're not going to lose this view, really, you know. So you're going to maintain this view. And here's the power lines that I was talking about. And they're eventually going to put up a, a uh, something around this big transformer here. So this is the house from the outside. You can see on in. She's got this on Evolve, just so you know. She's got this on Evolve. And that's who she's using to make the $200, $200 a night. And Kelly's cleaning it. Uh, you've got a utility closet back here. All, all that stuff's outside. So you got your water heater in there. And then inside is the, is the um, HVAC, the, the heat pump units that they use. So they use a three and a half ton uh, compressor out here, which is really big. That's large for, for that unit. But look at that view. Uh, incredible, huh? In just about any lot around here, you're going to get a hell of a view. But they're again, their their build rate is six to eight months. So, and it, and, and and you can't really press them on that. He only builds uh, about ten houses a year, and that's it. So, and some of them are in, most of them are in here, but there are a few that he's building outside of that. He's building one house down in Payson. So, anyways. That's our little driveway right here. This is it right here for this place. It's got a little drainage area out here in front that you can see, which don't look bad. They landscaped it a little bit with natural stuff. There's no real trees on this lot. That's kind of a sucky deal, but uh, you know, nothing says we can't, can't plant anything. There's uh, some pine trees next to the house, which will actually end up being too close to the house once they get grown. 
but we could plant maybe a a couple of trees between the dividing lot here on this this person's lot and then uh you know we've got this one pine tree out here we can keep or move or whatever it's i, I wouldn't do anything with it i just rent it you know all right i love you